So let's talk about the gamepad itself, shall we? First, let's put some fears to rest. Right. Yeah. No, but it felt really comfortable holding though, even with one hand. It's, it's more comfortable than last year. Uh, the gamepad is comfortable to hold. The weight feels good in your hands and uh, the buttons, well, they feel fine too. Though I still wish they would have used a GameCube button layout. The analog sticks are pretty much, well, nunchuck analog sticks and, and they, they feel the same way. Now, for the touchscreen, Jason. This is better than the Mario game does. I will say, they have yeah, the yeah, best have. resistive <laughs> touchscreen <laughs> I've ever seen. The Wii U game had the Wii U. And you would know about that. It acts like they a capacitive like screen, but it's not. <laughs> I think you kind of need to get used to a touchscreen controller like this um, in order to feel comfortable with, uh, with some of the games. Uh, Jason has an iPad and uh, he you know he's used to this kind of input uh, touching swiping etc I do not have any kind of touchpad uh, the closest thing I, uh, to it I have is a DS uh, and that really showed uh, we played the uh, ninja castle game thingy uh, and Jason passed my final score uh, before getting halfway even uh, so it took me a, a bit to get used to it and still I wasn't nearly as good as he was uh, but I really do want to say that we have a very solid controller here uh, however there is one jarring problem and that's the battery life uh, reported to be only four hours which is way too low. Uh, I walked by the Nikeo booth though and uh, I asked them how soon they were going to fix this. Uh, they told me they can't, you know, they can't give a time frame uh, but they estimated, you know, around about $20 product that would uh, more or less double the battery life. So once again, Nikeo saves today.